the name of your organization, awarenessprojects.org, um, one can think of a lot of different projects. Uh, can you provide us with a specific definition of your work? Yeah, the reason we titled our organization awarenessprojects.org was because we wanted to create small educational projects to raise awareness among the youth in Uzbekistan and in Central Asia, but in Uzbekistan in particular. So our purpose initially was to create these educational projects where the youth would be given the tools to come in an open forum and maybe just open up their minds and speak to an issue that we gave them. We never told them what to think, we just told them to think in general. And often they came up with their own conclusions to perhaps change their mind to somebody else's idea or stay with their own idea. And I was very pleasantly surprised how the youth in our camps were actually very willing to change their mind and to think critically to, I think, youth like, just like a youth anywhere in the world, are able to be open-minded, to think, and to think about critical issues like democracy. Um, and so that was sort of our goal. Uh, however, since we're now lo no longer able to go back to Uzbekistan, we had to re-envision our purpose, the purpose of our organization. And we sort of came up with two different uh, conclusions and sort of ideas as how to do that. First of all, we will be now conducting conferences, hopefully annually, around the United States and different universities, where we'll invite um, experts, politicians from Uzbekistan, uh, and others to come in an open forum and discuss their ideas as to the future of Uzbekistan. Uh, this first conference will be held in January 19th uh, at Seattle University, where we have invited such people as Sanjay Omarov, the chairman of Sunshine Coalition, uh, Bahadur Chorif, head of the Berdamlik movement, Sarah Kinzor of Al Jazeera, Nathan Ham of Registan.net, and we also have Ruslan Nurlaev, who is, uh, works for our organization, who will come together and will discuss their ideas as to how they see Uzbekistan moving into the future. Conferences and raising awareness about Uzbekistan and Central Asia in general in the United States is sort of our new purpose. I think it's important for Americans and for all of us to know, to understand uh, what's going on in Central Asia. And, you know, for example, Uzbekistan is a very important uh, player in Central Asia, and I think the stability of Uzbekistan sort of directly influences the stability of the region in general. A more personal question. Um, you came here as a Flex Fellow. You went back to Uzbekistan and now you have been in America for a few years. You consider yourself American. For those who are you know, watching this and wondering, well, I mean, if he is already American, why does he care so much about the future of Uzbekistan? What is in it for him? What is in it for you? Well, it's, I think it's an important topic to, to, uh, for people to know about. You know, I, I, like I said again, I think Central Asia is an important region, and I think that the regional stability um, influ you know, influences us and the United States uh, in general. I mean, the United States has been interested in Afghanistan and Central Asia for a long time, and I, you know, I think the two are very linked. Uh, Uzbekistan is, is in the heart of Central Asia, and what happens there, I think, makes a big difference. You want to raise awareness among Americans and all that, but how do you see the future of the projects that you're doing? Right? Well, and, and that's and that's a very difficult question to answer. I'm just trying to be honest here. You know, I, I, I could come up with maybe a very, a very pretty answer, but the answer is we are a little unsure right now. You know, uh, our goal is sort of was to go and educate. That was our passion to educate the youth about human rights, to educate them about HIV/AIDS awareness. And we felt very proud of our work, you know, to educate 50 kids a year about HIV AIDS awareness, to me was great because I felt like they would go and talk to their friends about it. And, and that was sort of, you know, we didn't try to change everything, we just tried to do what we could. But now, you know, our sort of new goal is to hold these conferences on a yearly basis and to bring experts together and sort of to facilitate dialogue. Why couldn't you continue your projects in Uzbekistan? What happened? You know, we, we got pressured by the government not to not to do that, and sort of our human rights work is not necessarily very welcome. Um, and so, right now, we are refocusing our attention and trying to do what we can here.